Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is April 20th, 2018. The videos we will be viewing just came in over the past day or two from the Federal Aviation Weather Cams in Alaska and Canada. Each frame in these videos is 10 minutes. Our first video features that strange vertical purple line that we just started seeing over the past week or two. This one is on the southwest facing weather cam in Taslina Tulsona, Alaska. If anyone out there knows what this is, please leave a comment to enlighten the rest of us. It seems to be coming from the sun simulator. Exactly an hour and 10 minutes later, another purple line appears on the right side of the screen, much fainter. That's how these purple lines have been appearing. A much darker one appears on the right, or on the left side of the screen, and then about an hour later, a more faded one appears on the right side of the screen. Can you see the red planet rolling across the sky? The east-facing weather cam in Shungnak captured this video. The atmospheric chemicals make these planets nearly invisible until some contrast is added in order to view them better. The southwest facing weather cam in Shizmaref, Alaska captured a piece of the large lens in the upper left corner of the screen. This is a man-made item. In case anyone is having trouble seeing it, some contrast is added here. And here's a close-up. I actually saw one of these lenses fall to the ground on a live webcam a couple months ago. Another one fell in Europe. These lenses were made by Bausch & Lomb under contract of the U.S. government. Once again, a planet is hidden behind heavy chemtrails from the east-facing weather cam in Selawik. Contrast is added to help view it. The west-facing weather cam in Nulato, Alaska captured the black signal beam in preparation for an eclipse. We've seen this black beam several times before in previous videos, and within minutes the aircraft appears that works with the eclipse concealment system. The sun looked rather odd on the west-facing weather cam in Port Hyden, Alaska. I think that everyone watching this video would agree that our sun never looked like this years ago. The southeast facing weather cam in Red Dog, Alaska captured evidence of the lenses again used to obscure objects between the sun and the earth. These lenses actually reflect planets as you can see in the video. The striped planet that we often see is being reflected in the lenses. Mirrors make it look like there are many copies of the same images. Some contrast makes it obvious that the object being reflected does have stripes. The south facing weather cam in Shagaluk, Alaska captured another reflection off one of the lenses. This is a reflection of that striped planet that we see frequently. Some contrast brings out its stripes. We know that this is only a reflection because it does not move. It remains stationary. As we've seen in many of these videos, the real planets are always moving, at least from our perspective as our Earth rotates. At Chicamas Canyon, British Columbia in Canada, three different light sources are about to rise over the mountain range. The sun, plus other light sources are on the left and another light source is on the right. Two small moons are also visible in this video. Finally, when all the light sources are moving upward, the Sun then develops a halo as it often does during an eclipse. These once rare halo sightings are now an everyday thing. Here is the same southeast facing weather cam at Chicamas Canyon in February of this year. The sun takes on a very contorted shape 
as the sun simulators glare attempts to cover all nearby celestial objects in glare. Eventually, it's obvious that there are more than one light source rising at dawn. The sun is on the left, and another celestial body is on the right. The sun passes behind the other object and moves upward toward the right at a diagonal. Technology in place blurs the foreign celestial object to make it appear more like a cloud. Some contrast, however, brings it out better. It is surprisingly large. The Southeast Facing Weather Cam in Dauphin, Manitoba, in Canada, captured the sun looking more like a light bulb traveling through the sky. I think that we would all agree that this is abnormal for our sun to have a shape like this, proving that something is very different now from years ago. People often ask why the sun flashes, especially in the morning. It's because the concealment technology in place is attempting to conceal several different celestial objects during sunrise. This equipment produces a tremendous amount of glare that covers these foreign orbs. One is barely visible here, and with contrast added, it's obviously a celestial orb. Thanks to subscriber Are You Really To Be Trusted, who alerted me to the moon that was on the Kistochina East Facing Weather Cam, the aircraft that works with the concealment technology quickly came into the scene as soon as the moon showed up. And thanks to subscriber Kimberly, who alerted me to the strange light source moving across the horizon on the north face facing weather cam in Point Hope, Alaska. In this video, it is important to note that this is a north facing camera. The sun is not in the, this camera's view. It's over to the right. Another celestial object that rises to the left of our sun each morning is seen moving across the horizon. It's moving from left to right. In Dauphin, Manitoba in Canada, one minute everything was of normal brightness, then a minute later the sky and landscape suddenly darkened on a perfectly cloudless morning. This can only happen with a solar eclipse. The east facing weather cam in Wainwright, Alaska shows the sunrise being heavily chemtrailed with black streaks of chemicals in order to mask the celestial objects that rise with our sun each morning. According to awarenessact.com, we are breathing ethylene dibromide, virally mutated molds, nanoparticulates of aluminum and barium and polymer fibers with unidentified bioactive materials. Dr. Blaylock, an MD, has found that everyone has elevated aluminum levels in their bodies, which is very bad. These chemicals are in the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the foods that are grown in the chemical saturated soils. Here's what our Earth looked like in 1969. And here is what our Earth looks like now. In Unilockleet, Alaska, the north-facing camera captured the sky and landscape flashing for quite a while in the morning. It is important to note that there are no clouds in the sky, thus this flashing cannot be caused by clouds passing in front of the sun. In Tuluksak, Alaska, we see technology flashing again in the morning in order to conceal the eclipses taking place during sunrise. Out of the glare emerges one of the celestial orbs which the technology is attempting to conceal. It is nearly invisible in the atmospheric chemicals, but some contrast makes it possible to see clearly. This orb is moving in a westward direction. The objects we have just viewed are part of an approaching celestial system. Many people ask when the system will make its closest pass to our Earth. 
A general indication of time is provided in the following screens of text. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe.